The concept of Satan, demons and ritual sacrifices has always been somewhat interesting to me. Not because I've wanted to participate, no, even I'm not that insane. But the premise of the mystery behind it has always been something that needs unravelling. Well, of course, Red Dead Redemption 2 would not get by without having a pentagram somewhere. So in today's video we are going to be investigating Butcher Creek's pentagram mystery. I'm sure you all know where Butcher Creek roughly is, it's just a little bit west of Van Horn trading post so it's not too hard to find. And at the same time I don't think this location really needs any introduction. As someone from the mighty county of Devon, I can confirm that this guy is 100% inbred. 10 out of 10. Okay there. Fucking goat. What I'm trying to say is Butcher Creek is already quite well known for being a bit of an odd place. A reputation this mystery is helping to sustain. Regardless of whether or not the pentagrams here, this place is very, very odd. The pentagram's quite an obscure thing. I promise I'll get onto where to find that in a moment, but first, why don't we take a look at the weird town that is Butcher Creek? Of course, the first thing that probably comes to mind is this inbred fella, because he is quite popular, I do believe. And all he really does is sit here playing his banjo. And I mean, it's probably for the best that we just leave this guy be. There's also a stranger mission where you help a very disturbed man return home to Butcher's Creek. Help! Help! You sick, partner? Uh, it's in me. They're in me. Uh, oh, you're Butcher's not well, friend. Grit. Butcher's Creek. Uh, where? Uh, Butcher's Creek. Is that where you're from? Butcher's Creek. You want me to... Take your air or me. Oh, come on, friend. It seems calmer now. I found him out in the woods. Oh, Lemuel. Sweet Lemuel. Such a nice man. Such a good man. Come here, Lemuel. Come on. Get up here. I'll help you. Since the troubles began, he just he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? No, he, he's not well. It's, it's, it's the darkness. It, he said it's... The darkness. So why is Lemuel, how the hell do you pronounce that name, saying it's in me and then referring to it as the darkness? Well, it does get weirder because he actually attacks you. Well, thank you, sir. Hey, thank, thank you for Lemuel. It's ah! in me! <laughs> Lemuel, not well. Uh, uh, yeah. You got anything for me? Oh, yeah. Of course, sir. Love and friendship in the darkness. What else are there? Obadiah Hinton, that's me. Love and friendship, friendship and love. We're not a rich village, sir, but with love, rich. We thank you. More on this guy in a moment. So there's one more thing that's quite interesting before we go off and investigate the pentagram. In the center of the village at the slaughterhouse, you can actually find a pig mask, which is just a pig's face turned into a mask. Honestly, it's quite sinister looking. So if you want your daily dose of disturbing, then please head right here. So now on to finding this pentagram. Well, if you open the map, you will see that the village rests under the R of New Hanover. There's actually a structure that is right under this R as well. So you want to be heading to this structure specifically. Now, as creepy as it may be, you're going to want to head here at night time. Now, at first, you won't notice anything. It'll just be an empty derelict shack. But if you wait until 4 a.m., through the floorboards, you'll begin to notice red lights. Now, at first glance, it won't look like anything so you're going to want to exit the shack and then find a way to look under it and sure enough you will see the pentagram so what is it doing here is it some satanic ritual i mean obviously why else would you have a pentagram but why now if you keep doing the obadiah hinton stranger missions you will learn that the town believes that it is cursed which the presence of a pentagram would definitely support However, if you keep doing this string of stranger missions, you will actually discover that it's just arsenic poisoning that's driving the people here insane. As the arsenic from a mine had actually leaked into the water supply, which would explain the various strange encounters such as this one. Oh, mister, am I glad I found you. I am colder than blue belly hell out here. Could I warm up by your fire just a bit? All right. I guess you can sit a while. Oh, I sure do appreciate this. You, 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 you won't even know I'm here. Oh, 
got myself rightly turned around out here. Yeah, so two days or or more. <laughs> Oh, Jerry Ann guzzled up all the chitterlings, so I go out hunting squirrels. Only Esther still got my damn warm britches. And I got poor circulation, even at the best of times. So, oh, November, my feet, they always turn brown. <laughs> so I glug some shine to keep myself warm. <laughs> On a riverbank, shivering like a shitting dog. <laughs> I get lost real easy. You ever heard of a place called Butcher Creek, mister? Our entire village has been marked by the demon stealing our bodies and our minds. And we have all been cursed, and ain't nothing we can do but just wait our time. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Now, I don't know if I like you, mister. You got the same look my uncle has. I'll take my chances. You stay away from me! However, the discovery of the arsenic poisoning and the presence of a mining company trying to buy the land off of the villagers actually leads to further paranoia and thus convinces the villagers that the spirits have cursed them through this. And I mean, their paranoia is not completely misplaced because there is still a pentagram in the village, which shines between 4 and 5 a.m. without any prompts which means that something of a higher power is causing it to light up. And though the villagers' confusion can be explained by the arsenic poisoning, it doesn't explain this. So why is there a pentagram here? Players have actually stated that when they've killed someone above this pentagram, creepy music is played, which is interesting, but at the same time, every time you murder somebody, unnecessarily creepy music plays, so I'm not quite sure it means anything. However, people are suggesting that it's there for some form of sacrificial ritual, which, um, I mean, it is a pentagram, so it's more than likely possible. And might it have anything to do with the quote-unquote curse that's gripped Butcher Creek, according to the mining company that tries to trick the villagers into selling the land? Well, it is entirely possible. You see, in The Wisdom of the Elders Stranger Mission Part 2, where you revisit Obadiah, the mining company representative mentions that you have to destroy 13 charms in the woods to lift the curse. Get your people home, mister. Get, get yourself a gun. Shoot any sick animals you see. Life will be just fine. The darkness has come for us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he was right. Who was right? I was. Oh, I shall save them. And who are you? There will be no more. Four-legged demons. The curse shall change. The curse has changed. What curse? These poor people. I will save you. I just saved them. There weren't no curse, just sick dogs. Dark charm. Possess the woods, I told you. He, he, did, he told me he did. He, he told me. I found one. Mm. That? Don't touch He it. found the curse! Found it. So... The woods are full of these. While they remain, the curse will remain. The oh. curse! Oh. Yet the woods are also full of demons. Oh. I will find a way. Oh, have I lied to you thus? He never lied to me. Mm. Come, Obadiah. Feed me. So you're saying, someone destroys all the charms, the curse is lifted? The woods are full of demons. Huh? And the demons protect the charms. And the charms protect the demons. It's impossible. I can see that. It's impossible. There, there ain't no demons. Don't disturb the woods. I told you. He would come, and he would help, and he would laugh. You, you told us.
Now, obviously, the charm he's holding doesn't count because he is a con man, so it probably was never in the woods to begin with. But there are 13 of them to find in the woods, and the number 13 is often associated with evil, or more accurately, misfortune. What I'm trying to get at here in my very long-winded way is, is there a connection between these charms and the pentagram? Which begs the question, did the mining company put this pentagram here to further scare the villagers into selling their land? Possibly, but that doesn't explain why the pentagram spontaneously lights up at 4am and then vanishes at 5am. Only a higher power could do this, but we know that higher powers do exist in the Red Dead universe. Doing a proper pentagram would likely summon the actual devil, regardless of whether or not it was intended to, or at least it would summon a demon of some variety. But since the curse that supposedly has befallen Butcher Creek is the fabrication of a mining company trying to con the villagers out of their land, it may be beg the canonical question as to whether or not it's actually there, to which the first thing that came to mind was its geography. Could this be a very obscure easter egg? And by that I mean you'd only really think about it if somebody pointed it out. So we all know that the pentagram is represented as a star, and on the map the pentagram is actually under the letter R. Could this be a play on the developer's Rockstar's logo? Could it just be a hint at themselves? Is that what the pentagram is? Or am I looking too far into this? Could it be that when you're sacrificing someone at this pentagram, you're actually sacrificing somebody to Rockstar Games themselves? And if so, it's gotta have a reason, right? Could it be yet another possible hint to a potential supernatural kind of DLC, just like Undead Nightmare, but for Red Dead Redemption 2? Very unlikely, a lot of Easter eggs are just there for the fun of it without any proper reasoning, so it's kind of a jump to get to that, but it would be pretty cool if that's a hint. Other players have claimed it could be something to do with the vampire. Now, one player did report that they took the vampire to this pentagram and executed him only to have a goat start eating him. Which is super random that I can vouch from first hand experience that the goats in Butcher Creek are dickheads. And I doubt it's anything specifically to do with the vampire anyway, as that is actually an easter egg in itself. It's actually a reference to the 1922 silent horror film Nosferatu. And I don't think that easter egg's gonna run any deeper than itself, so I don't think it's anything to do with this. However, the concept of a goat, a herbivore, eating a corpse is a bit unusual, though goats are known to eat just about anything that they find lying around, so... Though the diets usually consist of mosses and plants, an omnivorous diet doesn't seem completely out of the question. But I think we can all conclude that this pentagram mystery likely will never be 100% solved. Maybe the mining company who wants the villagers gone put it there to help authenticate their curse, unknowingly summoning a demon in the process. And if there is a demon getting about, then its influence is still unknown. Though in all of my investigation, I couldn't find any direct reference to the pentagram itself, which leads me to believe that it's probably just just an easter egg, though to what we might never know. And I mean it is all very fascinating, but there's a good chance that there's something out there that we've all missed. So you're gonna have to let me know what you think down in the comment section, have you found anything that I haven't? Please do let me know. Do you think there is a demon present, or is it all just a ruse by the mining company? Is this strange man actually a demon? The possibilities are theoretically endless. But anyways, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comment section, and I'll see you all very soon with another video at some point.